Welcome back. So this time I thought we would talk a little bit about John Adams, the character, both the man as portrayed in 1776, but also the historical figure who we know quite a bit about, and discuss a few of the challenges facing an actor playing a famous person from history. So to get started, here are a few portrayals of John Adams by famous actors that I thought you might enjoy. Take a look. William Daniels originated the role on Broadway, and his performance is preserved in the 1972 film. Brent Spiner, of Star Trek fame, starred in the 1997 Broadway revival. Simon Russell Beale played Adams for The American Experience on PBS. And Paul Giamatti won the Emmy Award for his portrayal in the HBO miniseries John Adams, based on David McCullough's Pulitzer Prize winning book. There's a reason that great actors want to play Adams. He was a great man, and it's a fascinating character to play. And I feel like whenever I approach a character who actually lived, it's my responsibility to kind of become my own dramaturg and do as much research as I can to know everything about the history of the person and the world that he lived in and really fill in a lot of those those details for myself. So the first thing that I did was to buy the first hardcover published edition of 1776. This has the whole script, but it also has the author's notes in the back where they talk about where they were absolutely true to history and where they took license for dramatic effect. Then I went to the definitive biography of John Adams by David McCullough. This is a Pulitzer Prize winning book. There's a great HBO miniseries based on this that I just watched again the other night amazing resource. And then this is just a treasure. The, these are the letters between John and Abigail Adams. They spent a lot of their marriage apart, especially while John was serving in Congress. So these letters give us a window into an amazing marriage between two remarkable Americans. Um, I also went to Pinterest and I put together a Pinterest board of all kinds of stuff, uh, historical detail, portraits, and lots and lots of of stuff on everyday life in 18th century America. So check that out. I think you might enjoy that. And as I've been learning about Adams, I've been learning just how much we have in common. So I thought I'd put together a humorous montage of things that I have in common with John Adams. So take a look at this. We're both from Massachusetts, Adams from Braintree on the South Shore, and I'm from Beverly on the North Shore. We're both Scorpios, born three days apart. We're both five foot seven inches tall. Adams loved chewing tobacco. Not so much. His favorite drink was hard cider. Mmm. And whether I'm as obnoxious and disliked as Adams was is for others to decide. No doubt there'll be lots more to learn about John Adams as we go forward. Join me next time when I'll be taking a field trip to Philadelphia. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. See you then.